today in Rune Adventures, please like and subscribe. And today we're going to be building a cake for my friend's birthday when we go camping. Um, we are going to need this so that way you can have a good birthday. So what you're going to need in order to make the cake is you're going to need a pan, a, um, some sort of mix, a bowl, a whisk, measuring cup. You're only going to need 12 ounces. And then you're going to need, you're going to be using um, Dr. Pepper and cream soda. And then that's the main stuff that you're going to need. Oh, and your oven. Okay, you're going to need to heat the oven like you always do. Make your cookies, cake, whatever you need. So we're going to heat it, the oven, and right in the way that we're going to heat it is you're going to turn it on. But we have a piece right here, a cooking stone. And this is going to help retain the heat. You're going to open it up, take it, put it onto the bottom shelf, push it back, leave it open for when it turns on. You're going to come over, turn it on, let the cook it for a second, light it. I ignited it. Now it is on. And I'm going to put it on like medium temperature. Actually, I'm going to put it on high for now. And now you can close it back up to retain the heat. Okay, so the first step to making um, cake on a camping trip is you're gonna open it up. Open up the package. We have a perfect moist strawberry supreme naturally flavored cake mix. Ooh. And you're gonna open it up. You have your powder, oh, ton. We're gonna open it. Wait, hold on. Yeah. You're going to pour it in, open it up. And uh -oh. pour it in. Here comes the mess. Pour it all in. Okay, pour it in. Fill it all that. Get every last bit for good cake. And you're gonna throw that out later. This is not a good recipe right here. This is not good for camping. We can't use eggs, vegetable oil, or water. So this recipe is not good. The recipe that we need is 12 ounces of soda, not water, vegetable oil, or eggs. You're gonna open it up carefully. Don't shake it. Let all the air off so it doesn't explode. Close it. Now that all the air is out, you open it up. And now you're going to want 12 ounces which is half, which is a cup and half. So now you're gonna be very careful. You can be very careful for her. You're gonna go like that. And you're gonna be very careful and you're gonna pour it. You need 12 ounces, no more, no less. The bubbles though do not count as soda. You need 12 perfect ounces of soda. I need a little bit more. And that's perfect right there. If you want this process to be way easier, just get a can of soda. Buy it from like Costco or something. Get a big box of 12 cans and just take one can and pour it all into it here. But for us, we have the two liter since this is what was on sale. You're gonna pour your 12 ounces in. 
into it. It's gonna take a while. Just pour it in. Don't make the mistake I did though. Don't get it all over your hands. Now, mix it to get a good blend. So that way you don't have big random stuff in it. Careful those things. You don't want to get any outside the bowl. Otherwise you lose some of it. It was pink, but it looks more like soda to me now. Or the soda bubbles when you shake it. But it definitely smells very good. Try to be very precise. Just very carefully, very slowly. Mix her up. This looks very good. It says heat it up to 350. I heat it up about way though, about halfway though for the oven. Now you're gonna spray the pan to grease it. Just, just get it all around. Don't use too much of it. And then get the sides too. Sides are important. And then you are good with oil and wash your hands afterwards. Now wipe it down and spread it out. Just like this. Just get every single part of it for good baking and so that way it doesn't stick to the tray. Next step is pour it in. Look at all the yumminess. <laughs> this right here would be good for a spatula, but a whisk will work. Next step is the best step. Now it's time for it to cook. Put it in. Push it back. When you take it out there, you're going to want something to protect your hands since it is going to be very hot. Now you let it cook um, for about 10 minutes. So we'll come back in 10 minutes to check it. Man, this cake smells good. You can smell it just barely coming outside. Okay, so next step is you're gonna hold the handle. Do not touch this, this is very hot. You're gonna grab the handle. You're gonna be very careful and you're gonna pull out the cake. And you're gonna place it. Oh, it's hot. You're gonna place it right here. And you're gonna take a toothpick. You're gonna put it in. And you can tell that it is not done because there is stuff on it. It'll go straight through and come back out perfect to you. And you're gonna pick set it, it back in. Up. Set it back in. Okay. Now it's been about 30 minutes and it's getting a little bit more cold outside. With the rain, as you can tell, it's raining. So we're gonna open it up and hope it's done because it is getting a little bit colder out here. So let's open it up and check it again. And it's thundering, if none of you guys just heard it. Check it again. So now it's been about 30 minutes though, so we're gonna check it one more time. Hopefully it's done. Check the middle. The middle looks pretty good. It's a little doughy, but let me check the outside. Outside looks good. So about another minute and I think we're done. So let's put it back in one minute and I think we're good. Push it back in again, same process, blah, 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 blah. And we're done with that. Now it is hailing. As you can tell, you can see, they look like little tiny Mike and Ike's, if you ever had those, they look like that, in small version. And it is raining and hailing, and you know, we got a dog, and she loves it. Oh, here's a bigger piece right here. And then you can hear our chickens going crazy out there. Yeah, yeet! Yeah. Dad, 
strawberry ice cream but this is still really good i prefer this Can I have a so now our second taste tester tenzi mm. mm -hmm. i still don't prefer this you don't it's, like this it's really good but i prefer it oh my turn this is some awesome cake. This is really good. With that um, outdoor oven, that thing actually works really well. The propane, it was almost empty and it lasted through. The whole thing itself is a really good setup. Thanks for watching another video of your own adventures. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.